Torture talk. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That dope boy shit. Let's get to it. All right, man. So this is review of Tannin Talk 3 by Benny the Butcher. Um, Benny the Butcher, Zelda Rapper, West Side Gun, Conway the Machine, Griselda, Buffalo Artist, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty on fire. I know this album came out about a year ago. Um, yes, he had an album after that that I reviewed already called The Plugs I Met, which I think I'll get to that. But let's get to this album. So, T3, TT3. All right, uh, See, the problem I have with rappers that rap extremely well, a lot of times they have no direction. And in this case, he's going very hard at what he does. And this is why I like Benny the Butcher, because he keeps his foot on the throttle at what he does. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But see... The problem comes in is when you get to a certain status or a certain point, you get tapped out. And it's like, I think a lot of rappers don't realize that coke talk, boss talk, all that talk. You have to get to a point where you get to a crossroad where you have to make a decision where you want to go and be a little more, a little more popular or you just want to stay underground or stay where you at. Because it's very hard to be successful and still be a dope boy rapper. I mean, I'm not going to say it doesn't happen, but you have to have some extreme, extremely good music. And at the same time, you got to be well respected. Now, I'll give you an example. Pusha T. Pusha T is a dope boy rapper. He's been rapping, but he's very articulate what the way he does it. So it's kind of like, painting the picture and having a hidden meaning in the picture. But when you see the picture, you think it's one way, but it's not. But when you get up close to it or you start or you get a, or you get an expert to examine it, then you say, oh, shit, I didn't even know that meant that in the picture. And that's kind of like what where, where, where it comes in with Pusha T. Pusha T, he can mask it very well. See, the thing about Benny the Butcher and Griselda is ain't nobody really making that hard like them right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, given the fact that nobody's making nothing hard like them, they're going to be, they're going to have, they got a lot of leverage. Now, the problem is we live in a sensitive society. And when they get to a certain point, they're going to have to make a shift or they're going to have to downplay it. And that's when they're going to lose a lot of their fans. Because people gonna because people are stupid. People are gonna be like, oh man, they changed. Oh man, I can't believe that they did this. So the TT3 album to me was a great album. It's just the content is the same. See, I'm a content person. And I need more than you just talking every track about how much dope you sold and the plugs you know and the guns you shot and the bitches you fucked and how much jewelry you have. I, I need more than that. I mean, you could, are you a great rapper? Don't get me wrong. You are actually a, 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 on, on, if I had to choose, you are one of the top rappers out right now. Like there's no question that, but you're not one of the top artists right now. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. See, hip hop is not local no more. This is not just your your hood listening to this shit no more. Hip hop is global. I want I want y'all to understand that. So artists like him that are extremely good, you gotta hold them accountable for coming up with new material. Listen, dog. If you make a whole album where it's like a movie, uh, about I don't know about uh uh, uh drug dealing, and and it's and it's skits and it's a whole theme. That's classic because that's staying in your element and you're doing what you do. But if every track come on, it's these low five beats. 
the same old uh, uh, talk that you did on the last album. And then on top of that, the plugs I met was was a better version of this. You know, so so I enjoyed this album. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it because I like harsh. But I'm also in the mind state of I like I like other stuff. You know, I just don't like one thing. You know, you can't when it comes to hip hop, sometimes you have to expand your mind. So, I mean, it's only really one track or two tracks that stood out to me. All the rest of the tracks were they were OK fire. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. You know, the beats was OK. The raps was fire. The Roy song stood out. The Royce, him and Roy song, that was pretty dope. You know what I mean, I like that it wasn't really no beat. It was just a sample and a little a little um, bass in the back. That was it. That was fire. That was creative. You know, I like that. You know what I'm saying? But again, we're dealing with guys that I think, I'm going to be honest with you, and, and people might disagree with me. I think Griselda found themselves in a, in a space where they painting themselves in a corner. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like Jada Kiss. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's kind of like Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss is a legend. But when Jada Kiss tried something outside of his comfort zone, people criticized him. And I think that that's what's going to happen to them. Yeah, you know I mean, and, and you got to look at what history tells us. What history tells us about about these what's the name and another thing i really believe i really believe that a lot of you guys a lot of y'all fans y'all want to live your life vicariously through these dudes and they live their life vicariously through fake fake characters and i'm not saying that griselda's fake i'm saying that a lot of these people pump up they pump up characters that wasn't even real and a lot of y'all y'all want to live your life through them so y'all feel like damn that's how I want to rap if I was on. Or that's how I want to be if I was on. I'm going to rap about that street shit. Man, y'all niggas don't understand. And I didn't want to get into the whole conversation that the streets is dead. That shit is over with, bro. It's over with. Let it go. Most, most niggas out here ain't, ain't pumping, pushing drugs. They ain't doing none of that. Unless you've been doing it for years, they ain't doing that shit no more. That shit is dead. Niggas need to understand that. Niggas got jobs, niggas got families they taking care of, and that's it. Niggas ain't trying to go to jail. Most niggas nowadays are not selling drugs. Most niggas nowadays are trying to open their own business, or they're trying to start something. That's it. Or they're doing videos or whatever. That's it. A lot of these niggas that be liking Griselda, you niggas are not street niggas. Y'all just want to just be like niggas. So, I mean, CT3, great album. Um, I gave it a strong seven. Push it to an eight. Um, I think that this album is something I probably would listen to again. But if you want some hard shit, like some hard bars and some hard, I would definitely recommend listening to this album. It's a very good, very good um, um, street album. Outside of that, I wish Griselda the best. And I hope that they start to uh, expand their, um, their, their vision to another level. And still be themselves. Like Pusha T. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that. Paint that picture, but don't give people the, uh, how would I say? Paint that picture, but don't give people everything. You know what I'm saying? Torture talk.